The universe may be more than 15 million times larger than what we currently perceive as the observable universe. Modern astronomical research indicates that the universe originated from a peculiar explosion approximately 13.8 billion years ago. Since then, the universe has been expanding, and the observable universe's extent has reached about 93 billion light years. However, this does not mean the universe is only that large, its actual size may surpass our imagination. When people inquire about what lies beyond the universe, scientists assert that beyond it, there is neither time nor space, seemingly a concept of emptiness. Nevertheless, the expansion of the universe is accelerating, implying that there must be space beyond it. So, what is beyond the universe? Transformation So, what is the observable universe? To explain this, we need to begin with the Big Bang. After Einstein proposed the theory of general relativity, scientists began developing cosmological applications of the theory. Many scientists, building on the foundations of general relativity, concluded that the universe is a dynamic process. Lemaitre, an astronomer and professor of physics from Belgium at the Catholic University of Louvain, also proposed the primitive atom hypothesis, which is essentially the precursor to the Big Bang theory. During this period, Hubble observed that distant objects are moving away from us at an increasing rate, reinforcing the idea of the universe expanding. Later, the primitive nucleosynthesis theory by American physicist George Gamow was confirmed through observations of the distribution of matter made by radio telescopes. The existence of the cosmic microwave background radiation was predicted by Ralph Alfie and Robert Hermann and confirmed by observations in 1964 by Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson. These observations further supported the Big Bang theory, making it predominant in the scientific community. Based on observational data and conjectures, scientists believe that the Big Bang occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The birth of the universe and the observable universe are closely related. Each moment represents the limits of human observation. For example, the farthest object we can currently observe is the galaxy GNZ11, located about 13.4 billion light years away from us. Due to the expansion of the universe, it is actually situated about 30 billion light years away. In addition to the limitations of visible light observation, we can also observe electromagnetic radiation at various wavelengths. About 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the first photons were released, forming the cosmic microwave background radiation. This observation was discovered by Arnold Pensius and Robert Wilson in 1964 and is at a distance of about 46.1 billion light years. Note that this is the radius. In addition to the cosmic microwave background radiation, we can also use neutrinos as an observational method. Neutrinos separated from other particles about one second after the Big Bang. If we could capture neutrinos at that moment, they would carry information about one second after the universe's birth. Finally, gravitational waves are also an important observational method. Gravitational waves were generated in the first Planck moment after the Big Bang. In theory, if we could receive gravitational waves at that time, we would be able to understand everything about the universe from its inception. According to the Big Bang theory, there is no world beyond the universe. The entire universe is the product of the Big Bang, with no time, space, and matter existing outside the universe, while chaos reigns beyond. However, scientists are not satisfied with this perspective and hope to verify the structure of the universe by measuring its size. According to observations from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and the Planck satellite, the universe appears to be flat and infinite, unlike the superinflated sphere we initially thought. However, this does not mean that the universe is flat and open. Scientists suspect that the universe may curve in close beyond our observable range because of its immense scale, making it currently impossible to determine whether the universe is closed or open. In addition to measuring the size of the universe, scientists also use methods such as baryon acoustic oscillations to obtain more information about the universe. According to observations of baryon acoustic oscillations, the universe may be more than 15 million times larger than what we currently perceive as the observable universe, reaching a scale of 23 trillion light-years. This means that there may be a fractal-like bubble within the universe, 
containing many universes similar to ours, with the same laws of physics, physical structures, and conditions that can give rise to complex life. During the evolution of the universe, scientists have also discovered the existence of dark energy. According to observations of type IA supernovae, one of the types of supernovae resulting from the explosion of a white dwarf, in 1998, the universe began undergoing accelerated expansion about 6 billion years ago. Scientists proposed the concept of dark energy to explain this phenomenon. This discovery surprised scientists, leading them to believe that the universe may continue expanding under the influence of dark energy until the last atom is torn apart. In this context, the future of the universe becomes worrisome. Even if the possibility of a big crunch is excluded, the ultimate fate of the universe will still lead to heat death. Over time, the entropy of the universe will continue to increase, progressing from order to chaos, until all effective energy in the universe is converted into heat and matter reaches a state of thermal equilibrium. In this state, the universe will enter the phase of heat death. The universe will step into the lowest energy state.